Back in 2022, we were really miserable. We felt like we were just existing and not living. So we made a drastic decision and we sold our house in the UK, quit our jobs and bought a motorhome. We then travelled around Europe with our two children and had the most amazing time and made memories that we will never ever forget. But on top of the Suston Pass in Switzerland, we realised that it was time to find a base again, somewhere for the children to call home. Ireland had always felt like the right place for us. So when we found this spot on top of a hill, even though, yes, it's derelict, and yes, it needs a lot of work, we just knew it was the right place for us. Please follow us on our journey in transforming this gorgeous place into our new home. It's a cold one today. Been at it now since this morning. You can always tell. See the sun is shining from like that way. Obviously I know in the morning way it comes. So when it's here, <laughs> yeah, I seem to get faster as the day goes on because I know you're chasing the sunlight to uh, do what you can. So I need to learn to slow down, and I am, but I'm still. I just want to get stuff done as well. But here's the deck. That's the well. That's the main shabanga down. Obviously, you know, chainsaw and uh, circular saw for um, scribing it in. Thank you. Oh, it's quite nice, that wonky. Don't judge me. I usually wouldn't do straight joints. I would cross them, but because we've only got a limited amount, I'll um, I just talk, just get it down with what I've got. So I actually picked up those four ones. Them ones are tantalised. So the sawmill man said, they're the stuff of the walls. Do you want it tantalised? I was like, mm, no, I don't think I do. This stuff lasts two years. This is Douglas fir. Apparently that was red larch, so yeah, you can see a contrast, but you know, it was cheap, cheap that that little bit. They were like off cuts, off a job, so <laughs> it'll weather in. But I have put on the first, I've put the first little bit of sill on. So I'm like a kid with this stuff, love it, love it. So let's see this. It took a bit of shaping. You can see up the back there. Just had to uh, I'm just trying to get the camera in. I just had to back it off with a 45 you know keep the front as it is you know all bit of this bit of that and you see i've kept my little wheat poles from inside and then it just fits under that if you can see it that tiny little lip it's only about four mil the sill sits underneath that so i will seal that as well but just with that first bit on of the of the window you know and stand back there's gonna be a lot of standing back and looking at it because it's all wavy stuff there's no actual way to square it measure it level it so i think that looks all right but it's just these tiny little, and like still got the rugged edge so i think it looks great um but you can see actually <laughs> you can see the difference in the tantalized and the natural i'm pretty much liking the natural but the horror side where it's a bit dodgy with the stones as you can see it is all framed out now all of it every window we've all got their angle sills on they're all set there's four windows you see down there but that's it that is finito down that side so we literally are ready hopefully fingers crossed friday um it's either coming or it'll be early next week hopefully friday and um, we'll get all the cladding some of them are 16 foot long and some of them are 20 foot long. So I've been in the in the, uh, the sawmill and seen them. They are, they're great. I like a child in the toy shop. They're great. I love them. I can't wait to see what it looks like when they're all start getting fitted. It's fresh, fresh this morning. You hold that camera boil. So we're gonna, the day has come. We need lots more wood. So let's, uh, show you what me and me and you and are going to try and do today we're going to try and build a big log store 
But like, we've all got hats and gloves on, it's cold this morning, it is the end of November. So we're going to go a bit Neanderthal and uh, try and build it out of log. It gets hot when you, when you are darting about, you're warm, and then when you're not, it's freezing. So we're going to find a way to try and get in there with the branches, chainsaw it off, because I want to use some of this section here. It's going to be, be fun and games getting in there. Well, let's have a little look over here. Temporary one that me and Ewan did um, the other day, just so a bit of wood. As you can see, it's not enough. It takes a lot of wood. <laughs> So we're going to do away with this. Just... Just get the top off it. Icy. Put a line of pallets at the back. Basically, I want to put a roof, a sloping roof here, so that when it rains, it's going to fill the water tank. But the front section, I think I'm going to do the uprights. So I'm going to try and do out of log to the back of a can as well or well, failing that it's going to be sleepers i'm going to use some of these as well some of these will be my uprights at the back basically fix it into the bottom and that'll be the back section and it'll be a piece of timber across the back and then and ba the, these are reclaimed these are what we're here and then obviously that tree from the storm storm debbie we might as well use everything we've got um Obviously, money doesn't grow on trees, does it? So, and, and timber's expensive, so we might as well use what we've got. We've used some of the 7B3 at the back, that's from the old barn. Pallets are, uh, you know, <laughs> old pallets that we're given for now. So we'll just try and build the best log store we can with the materials that we've got. So, let's get to it. That was a mission. That was an absolute mission getting that. I mean, it's dawn till dusk. But I've got some decent, some decent stuff. I'm just trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing. I don't know. I think my brain's gone to mush. But at least the tree's down. Yeah. Some of the big, the big things are down at the top. The, the, the nuts and bolts come undone. So voila. But yeah, there's only so much you can do in a day. Um, we've just not got enough daylight. But well, I'm gonna to have to get in there with my grinder because you cannot take them fixings apart. I mean, I'm gonna to to cut the heads off basically, and I'm gonna salvage all the steel that way. But it's just time. It's just time. You just it takes time grinding away bit by bit. 
so I'll do it. It's a lot of brand, a lot of treat. It's a lot of work, a lot of work, but I think I've done all right. You yeah, have done brilliant. It's bloody exhausting. <laughs> this felling work. No wonder they charged the big bucks. Yeah? <laughs> tree surgeons. Tree yeah. surgeons. I was like, how much? <laughs> how nine hundred quid? No. Yeah, I'd be charging the same. It's it's hard graft. It ain't just you don't just turn up and go. Eh. There's a there's a lot to it. I mean, I've probably done it in not the safest as what a professional would do it, but it's still safe. That's the main thing in my mind is if I cut this, what will that do? You know, it's um, luckily Andy next door's good with the chainsaw. He's done the courses and things like that, and he's you know he's he's given me some little tips and and other people have given me little tips, you know, of how to watch myself because you can have a bad accident with the chainsaw. It's quite, you know, no, anyway. The log store is coming Messing about with ideas and they're just, just prop that. It's all gonna be like slatted up the side. So it looks a bit weird. I'm not sure what I'm doing, like I say, just making it up as I go along. And that's okay. It doesn't have to be, it's just a log store. Bit of an angled roof. That's all it's gonna be, an angled roof. So without, you know. So maybe, it drains into the water tank is the main thing. Maybe even this will do. Look at that. This here. <laughs> they're, they're heavy, but they're not. I'm glad I'm this age anyway, it's how you This could be. I don't know. If I shape it, maybe that's my central upright, I don't know. <laughs> like I say, I've got a few more sleepers I can have a mess with. But. It's starting to get dark, and when it does go, I mean, it's cold now. When it goes dark, it'll be even colder. So maybe it's time to go in and get some broth, huh? Broth I and tea. I haven't made anything yet. I'm gonna go and make tea now. I'm going. I'm, I'm working. No, it's all, all good. All right. Rebecca has been feeding me very well, <laughs> very well. All of us. If it was me, if Rebecca wasn't here, I'd end up going in. It'd just be beans and toast, beans and toast, and balm cakes dry. Well, another fantastic morning here. Cold morning, maybe. Freezing. <laughs> it is cold. It'll be so good when we get the actual, the more well cladded. Um, We've got no water. There's no water this morning. <laughs> well, since so. last night, actually, I think, didn't it? It, it went is off frozen. Last night. I did. I mean, <clears throat> when was it? Two weeks ago, I think Rebecca did it. We got some, you know, some chemicals for sanitizing water drums. So we do have some five gallon water drums here a couple of i think we have 50 we're able mm. to have 50 liters so we're gonna have to go knocking on the neighbor's door like oliver twist saying, please, please, sir. please sir can we have some water <laughs> can we have some more <laughs> we can't flush the toilet we can't wash up no can't shower. we do have some water in our canteen inside we've yeah, got about 12 liters of water haven't we so filled it up yesterday didn't we so we're all right we can have drinking. a brew and the kids can have a drink got the priorities right we had a brew this morning still we still did have a brew this morning, but obviously I just checked the tap there. It's it's trickling, so we just need the sun to stay up like this, and then we can. See, our water comes from the farmer who bought. Mm. We bought the land off. He kindly has let us use temporary. His We're waiting temporary for the bloody. But that comes through all his fields because it feeds all oh. the sheep troughs. So basically, I bet there's a thousand meters. We can't insulate it. No, it's so just lay on the top. We it's knew it, we knew this was going to happen at some point this winter that we would run out of there water. There it is, right there. As you can see, I don't know if you can see it. And there's the pipe. Goes all the way right down the fields. But we knew this had happened. That's why we got the drums yeah. up and done. So and it's cold. I am wrapped up. I've got long johns underneath. I've got my hat on. Especially near the edge over there, it's there's no wind here, but near the edge the wind's blowing, so it's even colder. It's biting, isn't it? So I'll get done what I can get done. Get this log store up and running. I don't want to spend any more time on it. It's just get it done as quickly as possible <laughs> so we can get the logs in there. Um, because this could be in for a few weeks now. Yeah, Maybe, is it all week it's cold like this. Not till spring. Yeah, well, it's going to be cold till spring. No, be cold not till May. freezing, I don't think. It's just for the next sort of good few days yet to come. Got cold, freezing weather. Yeah. But we're good, yeah. we're all right, aren't we? We've got power, yeah. we've got warmth, we've got a log burner, so we're warm. Oh, we're warm, just, and we've got food. We just, just water <laughs> might be a problem. Just water, obviously. The but we've got good neighbours. Neighbours are helping us, so we're all good. It's be all fine, fine at some point. 
We could even put them in the car, you're nipping out. Come yeah. Say, we're going to see some lady somewhere and I'll just say, oh, while I'm here, <laughs> could I just film a two five gallon drums with your nice, fresh, crisp water? First time I've met you, but yeah, can you give me she some water? She won't mind. She won't mind. Okay. Right. This is our little crazy walkway. Actually, the, wood, the, the mud's not too bad today because it's frozen. So, sorry if the generator's overtaking, but I'm managing to get this wood out. It's not very easy. You see that bit that's stuck up there? With this tin stuck to it you cannot pull the tin off i've got my grinder um because where are they the fixings you can see well they've been pulled out of here but these big round fixings in there they are solid so i will get to it now with the grinder and then that's going to be the tin for the roof but it's also i need that bit of timber for the back support um, but you'll see So we're chasing the sun again, really. <clears throat> well, it's second day now. Well, second day. Bloody, really, I've been chasing the sun for a bit. <laughs> but it's like two days sorting out this, getting this log store uh, in order. And somewhere to chop my logs. I just, you know, that will do. That's the ridge beam. That's just some of the larch off cuts. You know what? That will make my life so much easier. A simple thing. Old bit of a uh, 7 by 3 there. But this is the log store, it's not finished. I'm just gonna I'm gonna stand some pallets up at the sides and and that but there's me there's me little uprights there in the middle. Um just one at the back. All the timber was bent and twisted and there's a bit more of the 7 by 3 there, just on some pallets. It was all twisted and, and this is some of the tin off the roof. It's wrecked, so I'm just gonna try and make it look a bit bit pretty so quick string line on there um as you can see it's all over its show you know it's a it's a right ramshackle but get the grinder on the go straighten it up the rustic cook This is the uh, this is what's left of the tree, the big tree that was there that fell right through the the middle. I've got quite a lot of the tin down, but that tree was epic getting that down. So these are just some of the twigs. Probably some of that I'll use like this, you know, for firewood for the fire store. But there's our water. Our water is actually running now today, so it's warmed up just today. But thanks to uh, Andy and me, we have got some water. Spotted some training going on. Not sure how I feel about it, but can we be for the good? You were the first time with the chainings doing good. good. Yeah. Okay. Let's see.
good. It's how like did being, that? How was that? It's like being on a roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> did you enjoy so, it? Yeah, it's very like shaking. Shaking. Yeah. Yeah. Good. It's good. You did good. Mm. <laughs> I prefer. I prefer a sword. Prefer using our, the sword, don't yeah. you? <laughs> this is our superstructure. Yeah. I think we've all helped a little bit. Sleeper. We've even put our new ones put our first bit of wood in. So we need that now. <laughs> we need it. Yeah. Don't we? Needs to be full. We need it packed right up. But I'm sure for that. Yeah. It's all just bits and bobs. <laughs> chucked on, chucked together. Old tin off the roof that fell down. Everything. Brilliant. But it'll uh It'll do us. I think it'll last for a bit. It's like the Terminator of Logs, though. It's <laughs> not going to bloody fall over, so... No. Ewan's got his ear defenders on the ready. <laughs> so we are feeling sorry for the muck. Well, the farm cats to me. Farm cats. And they're okay out there in Cat Hotel. Insulated Cat Hotel. On the decking. Out of the frost and the rain and the wind. But, you know, people want the cat flapping. Me? Yes. So... Want them to be able to come in it's and having out. It. We are doing it. So here we go. Hog flat. <laughs> Gonna go somewhere about there. Something like that. But we've got the bigger one because the cats are actually bigger than Benji now. So ben Look at him. Benji's small. <laughs> tiny. Shaking. Benji weighs less than the cats. He does but actually he, weigh hopefully less Hopefully he cats. may be able to go through it, eh? Yeah. Well, that's it. Benji can... Can't you? Benji can fit through there. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Let's well, let's get, let's get cutting. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time. Just enjoy the ride. A new man. Passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt Get me up, so in, somewhere I can find myself Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky I found my way, I found my way I was in the dark against it all But made it through the day Cause I found my way, I found my way In bad times, I know I'll be okay Cause I found my way Meow, <laughs> meow Well there we go One cat flap, all done You have the garden <laughs> Oh, First of December, Christmas decks have to go up. <laughs> we promised the kids. I don't think we've got a loop on this one either, have we? No, you've got to twist it round. So luckily for me, we didn't bin everything when we left uh, the there. UK. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's yours. Sure? Because there's no way in the world I'd be able to afford this right now. Not nowadays. Not nowadays. Look <laughs> how expensive Christmas decorations are. Yeah, bloody really expensive Christmas decorations. So, Sam wanted to bin all this when we left England to go travelling. Yeah, we don't need it. And I put it all in storage unit and I'm so glad we did because look how nice that looks. It'll look even better when it goes a little bit dark. Better, what? better. There. Yeah, perfect. Our fire that we ripped out, um, <coughs> we sold it. Yeah, it was cheap, cheap. We've not, one, we've one not of, exploited anyone. <laughs> one of our subscribers cheap. contacted us though. Yeah. Mitch. Yeah, Mitch from. Uh, where was he from? Oh, Sorry, Mitch. It was terrible. He did say where he was from, but he, yeah, he came in, had a cup of tea, and it was great to to chat. And um, we'll probably chat again in the future. It's uh, it's a small world, isn't it? So yeah, it was great, great to talk. And look what he brought us. saying how we um this morning we said 
Oh no, it's when I, la I shoveled the last bucket of coal this morning and said, oh, we'll have to get some coal from somewhere. And then when Mitch came in his van, he just went, I got you some coal. And I was like, how nice is that? So. Thanks, Mitch. Top banana. That's ace. I'm going to be toasty warm tonight. I do need to cut some wood though, because we haven't got much. So get these decks up and then get logging. Here's our little, uh, our little grotto. Looking all right, that. <laughs> Put them up today. The kids are putting loads of lights up inside. But yeah, it's, uh, I'm not sure how the footage is going to come out on the camera, but it's, uh, it's looking nice, looking nice and festive. <laughs> well, we just uh, we say me, <laughs> I, I've just been down to uh, our timber mill and ordered the timber and. There wasn't much staff there today, so I pulled it out myself with, with a fella and 16 foot long, 60 lengths. It was epic, but I got to, you know, pick through, pick it, basically. It took a bit, it took maybe a bit over an hour, but I'm glad. It was graft, but I've got some amazing um, timber coming on. For, well, next week, next week we start doing the cladding mission I can't wait I've got little cheapies uh, I'm so looking forward to doing it it's gonna it's gonna look amazing um, there's no straight edge well there is a few straight edges but there's no straight edges because it's live edge cladding so I can't wait to get involved so and I got a sample as well because me and Rebecca talked about the pathways around the land here um, they're pretty dangerous because it's metal and in the wind obviously these all flew everywhere so we've got this it's just some white chip this is just say what half a bin bag full pretty thick decent <laughs> and it um it smells nice <laughs> but that will do that will uh, be a lot safer down the as you can see the pathway down to the rope swing over there and then we have another pathway whoosh, down towards the pond and uh, i think that's it now we'll sort of leave it it's been a good week loads of graft done but we're going to leave it there now for this week and i'd like to say a massive thanks to you know everyone that's uh, bought us a coffee and our patreons it's been epic everyone's support out there you know on, especially on them days sometimes when you feel a bit down and you know, sometimes you just you read people's comments and that and they do they pick you up it just picks you up and makes you feel great so i'm so glad that we've got the support and we've got the neighbors the people we've met here the network of people it's just it's brilliant i love it i love it and uh I can't wait to get stuck in, you know. Yeah, the cabin will be done, but also the, the house will as well, you know, when we get start getting stuck into that, it's gonna be it's gonna be ace. It's gonna be worth all of this effort and graft and and like I say I love it. You know, it's what else would we be doing with my life? Just I don't know. This and that. It's not over yet. There's loads of stuff to see yet, but we need a home base and thanks for everyone's support. And I'll see you next week with the cladding. <laughs> <laughs>